you know I had to do it, right? I mean, I'm sure you guys knew at some point I had to do it, right? Anyway, so <laughs> this will be my first game of Resistance 3 Online. Well, technically, I'm entering my clan tag, SBD. A lot of people have been asking me, dude, when are you getting that game team started? That game clan? I know. I've been slacking. This thing was supposed to start like three months ago. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have a, a video called Video Game Team in the Making SBD or something like that. Basically, what it is, I'm, with, I'm going to have a clan for a variety of games like Gears of War 3, Halo, Battlefield, Uncharted, uh, maybe even 2K12 if I get that because I, I still do want 2K12. I mean, I'm black. so But yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to have this clan for a variety of games. And, you know, if you want to join my clan for it, you know, I'm going to post up gameplays of our clan playing together. And, you know, it should be cool. But, um, no, uh, so, yeah, this will be my first game for Resistance 3. But like I was saying, technically this isn't really my first game because I was in the beta and it just so happens that I'm playing a map that was in the beta. <laughs> Train yard. So I'm shooting at this dude, throwing grenades, shooting at him. I get killed. How wonderful. <laughs> and, um, you know, a lot of people on my PSN friend list, you know, they see me playing Resistance 3. And they're like, oh my god, dude, how is it? Like, seriously. And, you know, um, this is what I always tell them. Resistance 3 shocked me. What I mean by that is, uh, I didn't expect, look at this dude, in the bubble, this is like some Halo stuff, in the bubble shield, waiting for me, shooting shotguns, luckily the bubble shield <laughs> disappeared, that wasn't even a, bu a bubble shield, that was a thing called a ammo beacon, where you can sit in it, and, you know, and it, you know, continues to give you ammo, but, um, no, so a lot of people have been asking me, like, how is Resistance 3, and, um, Resistance 3 surprised me, like, like I was saying, um, it's been so long. I mean, it's been a while since I played a first-person shooter where I really cared about the story. Because I've always been a Resistance fan since uh, Resistance 1. I will say this, I have not beaten Resistance 1, but I got close to beating it. But it, was, but it wasn't my game, it was one of my friends, and I just never got around to beating it. But I do know most, you know, I do know the majority of uh, the story. Um... You know, I've always been a Resistance fan, and I have to say, dude, I think Resistance 3's campaign is the best one yet. Uh, wow. I, I have more to say when I do my review for a Resistance, so if you guys really want to know about it, just wait until I make my review. It should be up within a week, Um, you know, because I want to beat the game and, you know, learn about everything the game has to offer, then do my review. I don't want to rush into it. Um, But, yeah, man, I'm really enjoying the Resistance 3's campaign. Um, and for the online, um, I should have did, I was about to upload gameplay of the beta, because basically the way the beta was is the same way the online is right now, and that's to be expected, because the beta was like, what, a day ago? So it's to be expected, you know, it's, it was, it's not surprising that it's kind of like the beta was, um, but no, man, the beta was good, but I had some issues with it, 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 it there were... So you might even notice in uh, this gameplay there might be like a freeze for like a second and then it and then it will continue and watch this I kill this guy I go upstairs and watch what happens do you see that <laughs> and you it, now some people who've never played the beta or resistance 3 you might not even know why I was shooting at that bug that bug can kill you and the thing was this is how it happened when I played my first game in the beta I killed someone and then like four or five bugs come out and they try to jump on me and kill me and I'm like dude what the heck is that because I honestly jumped because the last thing you expect is to kill someone and then these bugs come out and try to kill you like I'm like yo what the heck is that and the thing was I was on the mic at the time and I didn't know what it was until someone said on the mic oh when uh, you kill someone bugs come out and I'm like what why <laughs> it's just some things in uh, this game for online that I just don't agree with, you know, I just feel, I just feel like Insomniac, you know, try to try too hard, you know, it, it has a lot of unnecessary things in the online, at least in my opinion, like, like, like I was saying, when you kill someone, those bugs come out, like you just saw one jump at me, <laughs> it, it's just things like that, and I know it's Insomniac, they're known for doing, you know, these crazy things with, with their games, but watch this.
knife to your head, sucker. But um, I do love the melee system in this game, though. Um, but yeah, man, it's just so many things that I just felt like it shouldn't even have been added. Um, with these, uh, I guess you can call them perks now. Like I said hate on call of duty all you want it's, it's changing the way people are making their online games at least um it, it seems like this has perks now uh some are called the lightning shield or am or ammo beacon or the doppelganger where uh you can basically have a hologram of yourself right next to you and uh it might fool your opponent if he sees that do if, the, if he sees the doppelganger he might shoot at that instead of you and the ammo beacon is where you place a beacon and you can go inside of it and it you know gives you more ammo so that's what you saw at the start of the game where he was in that shield and then it disappeared I guess that was the ammo beacon then they have one called the lightning shield I'm not sure exactly what that does I am not sure exactly what every perk does I only know a few of them um but yeah man uh is this online good yeah it is is there room for improvement? You bet your sweet ass. <laughs> and ooh, I'd rather just curse. But anyways, you know, but 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 seriously though, um, yeah, I I think there's definitely improvement for the online. You know, with a good patch or two, I feel like I I feel like this game has so much potential. Like it can be a very fun game. Like I said, with a patch or two, I feel like this online could be way better. Um, let's talk about Dead Island. Yes, Dead Island. Dead Island. A lot of gamers have gotten Dead Island over Resistance 3. A lot of gamers have gotten Resistance 3 over Dead Island. A lot of gamers have gotten both Resistance 3 and Dead Island. I was about to be one of those gamers. Um, Literally, went to Walmart, had both in hand. I had Resistance 3 in my left hand, Dead Island in my, in my right hand. And uh, so I'm walking about to, you know, get these games and pay for them. Then all of a sudden, my conscience says out of nowhere, don't do it, my bad. <laughs> when I say that, I'm being so serious because that's not the first time it's happened. Like, every time I'm in a situation I don't want to be in, my conscience normally always says something out of nowhere. Look at this guy trying to cloak on me. Uh-uh, I'm right behind you, sucker. Yeah, but, um, so, you know, my conscience just says, don't do it, my bad. <laughs> And deep down inside, I didn't want to do it. Why? Because I hate paying for two games in one day. I, I never that. If I bought Dead Island and Resistance Three yesterday, that would have been my first time I ever bought two games in one day. You know, and I did not want to spend one twenty plus tax on two games in one day. You know, I don't have a problem if it's if it's you know in separate days, but in in the same day, I just can't do it. So deep down inside, I didn't want to do it. And it seemed like my con it seemed like my conscience knew. So it said, Don't do it, my brother. So I put back down that I <laughs> And the thing was, the only reason why I wanted Dead Island, what really intrigued me about Dead Island was the trailer. Remember that trailer that came out for Dead Island and it was like the dad, mom and daughter and the daughter she got bitten by the zombies and then she hopped on the dad's back and she bit him in uh, the neck and then uh, the dad threw the daughter off him and then she and then the daughter fell out the window and you know hit the ground and those bugs are trying to kill him <laughs> but uh based off of that trailer I thought Dead Island would be a completely different game like I thought it would be a game like where you would have to make these tough decisions and you know it would mess with your, and it would mess with your emotions and stuff like that. I kind of thought it would be a heavy rain type of game, not the way the gameplay is for heavy rain, but the way you can make decisions and it can like, you know, change the outcome of the story. I thought Dead Island would kind of be like that. But from what I'm hearing and I'm telling you, people who have the game are telling me this, it's your generic zombie game where, you know, you start the game some zombies try to kill you and you pick up weapons and you can just slice off their arms, legs, head, whatever. And I'm not interested in that. The only reason why I was interested in Dead Island is I thought it would be a completely different type of zombie game. That's why that was what was so intriguing about it. You know, the trailer, you know, I, I think caused that, you know. Um but yeah, man, I'm hearing it's like your generic zombie game. And that's why I was never interested in games like Left 4 Dead and, you know, even zombies on a Black Ops. Because games like that it's only really fun to play in co-op and I want to have a game where you have fun playing by yourself and or co-op you know and I thought Dead Island was going to be that game but from what I'm hearing a lot of people are saying this it's your generic game and um 
the thing is I don't determine me buying a game based off of what people have to say but it does take a part in it you know I, I, I've been watching a ton of Dead, Island, of Dead Island gameplay and it doesn't even look like a game that I would enjoy like I really thought it would be a totally different game that's why I was so intrigued by it. like I really wanted Dead Island but you know in a way I'm kind of glad I didn't get it because I'm having fun with with the uh, resistance 3 and uh, some people who have Dead Island they're saying they kind of disappointed them you know it's still a good game but it's just not the type of game that I want um but yeah man this game's about about to end I think I didn't do too hot in my first game online I'm trying to shoot this guy he won't die he kills me it's going to take a while before I become a beast in this game. It's always like that. When a game first comes out, I'm never a beast in it. It takes like a good week. And then basically no one can touch me because I'm the great one. Um, but yeah, this game's about to end. And so there it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My brothers and sisters, as always, rate that video. I don't care if it's a thumbs up, thumbs down. But as always. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you on my next one, alright? Peace.